Today, we're taking a look at the Air Jordan 1 High Royals. Welcome back to Kicks on Kicks, my channel where I review sneakers. I'm BJ Kicks, and today we are taking a look at these. The Air Jordan 1 High Royal from 2017. Blast from the past, you know, because these things never quite go off the market. Now, do they? Now, uh, these are courtesy of the homies in the description of this video. Thanks for sending these over for review. Before we get into the shoe, I just want to acknowledge that this box is beat all to heck. Um, you can actually look on my Instagram. There was a <laughs> this box came all sorts of beat up. It was the box was so badly damaged that I thought the shoe would be damaged as well, but it's not. So let's take that other shoe out, toss this off to the side and get on with the review. So we're looking at the Air Jordan 1 Royal from 2017. I had to complete the set. I got the breads from 2016, got the uh, shadows from 2018, and now I've got these, the Royals from 2017. And I mean, it's a classic Air Jordan 1. There's not really much to say, but you know, I like to start these from the bottom up. So looking at that outsole, this is your standard Air Jordan 1 outsole, regular old Air Jordan 1 traction, nothing special, it's, you know, rubber outsole, made sturdy. It's not going anywhere. It's not flexing on me. So that's good. Um, moving up to the midsole, you know, stark white midsole, you know. It is what it is. And then moving on to the upper. This is my favorite Air Jordan 1 color blocking. I don't know. I like this. The color blocking from the Breads and the Royals or whatever. Uh, other people like the, the Chicago color blocking. You can see up behind me the reimagines. Others like that black toe color blocking. Um, and I think for me, it's this, then the black toe color blocking, and then the Chicago style color blocking. But all black with just some pops of color where you need them can't go wrong to me. And the Air Jordan one really in any color is like an everyday wearing shoe. This is one of those right now. My go to is the mochas, which have the, the black toe color blocking. I wear those almost every day. Uh, love them. And this is another pair that you can just throw on with almost anything. And it just goes. It just goes. It's, it's this is just great. But anyway, looking at the upper, you've got some pretty standard synthetic black leather all around the shoe. So on the mid panels, the vamps, mudguard, all that run of the mill, synthetic black leather, kind of plasticky feeling, nothing to write home about. But on the toe box, as well as the swooshes and on your ankle area and heel area, you've got this sort of tumbled blue leather and that's really nicely done. It's actually a lot softer than the black leather. Uh, I'll take out the shoe tree so you guys can even see what I'm talking about. You just get a nice little flex in here where you don't get that like on this mid panel on the medial side, for example. So got to love that. Um, looking at your tongue, standard nylon mesh tongue, black and royal blue on the Nike Air tag. Inside your tongue is white, as is your insole with royal blue hit for the Nike Air logo. And that's pretty much it. Again, this shoe came out in 2017. Production date on my tag says 10, 18, 16 to 12, 19, 16. So everything seems to be on point. Uh, as far as legit checking indicators, is anybody legit checking these? I, I don't know. I believe this shoe also had that glittery issue kind of as these age over time, you should see like glitter, a glittery sort of oxidation sheen over the black parts of this shoe. Mine doesn't have that because it wasn't made during that time. Will this age over time in the same way? Probably not. Probably not. I think that was unique to those authentic shoes and just the materials that were sourced at that time. But other than that, I mean, the tumbling looks good on the leather. It doesn't look too tumbled. Doesn't look 
you know, it's like just the right amount of tumbling. And I don't know. I bought these to wear, not to analyze. So it is what it is. Legit check all you'd like. Most people like to look for the hourglass shape. I will say these have an interesting sort of lean, like I'm holding them straight. But you can see they kind of lean to the side the, the the shape on these is a little odd. I don't know if anybody's gonna be able to tell that once they get on feet, once you tie them up and whatnot. But I guess that is something to note the way they sort of lean to the left and right, respectively. And I don't know if that's something that's unique to this shoe or not. Now, as far as the extras, these do come with another set of royal blue laces in case you wanted to do the royal. Um yeah, I'm not putting blue laces in this shoe. I like them with the black laces. Um, and hey, that's the shoe. We already looked at the box. It's a standard Air Jordan 1 box. Mine is beat all to heck. Uh, that's usually a red flag, by the way. But who knows? The guy selling your shoes could have had a house fire or something. Um, so yeah, all the information that you need is all in the description down below. And that's going to do it for this review. I'll see you guys in another one real soon. Let me know, though, in the comments, what's your favorite Air Jordan 1? I'll see you in another one real soon. Peace.